Hello there. Bye. We ventured south from Cooktown to a place called Coranda because Hayne was pretty keen to show me something. So it's special treat time. You know, I'm not going to take you on a holiday without organising a special treat. I'm taking you to the honey house. Yeah, why though? Got your letter. Dear Hayne, I'm sad because I can never grow a full beard. I wonder if it's possible for you to somehow make me a beard out of bees. My favourite insect. <laughs> Love Andy. Age six. And I filed that away. <laughs> and I've kept it for 24 years. And the lady helping me provide the beard, a reverse barber if you will, was Trish. Why do the bees come and hang out on someone's face? Because they're protecting the queen. So you put the queen on... We'll put the queen on your You're face. You're going to have a queen sitting on your face. Where do you put the queen? <laughs> on sit on the face. Have you ever had bees on you before? Oh, not... Well, yes, a bee's been on me. Did you freak out? Oh, I didn't love... I didn't love a bee being on me, but I wouldn't say I freaked out. Okay. Why? What, what's the...? The whole thing is about being calm oh, around the bees, OK? Sounds like a sensible thing so to do with... So if, you, if you're freaked out, they'll freak out. OK. Well, in an effort to keep things calm, Trish thought it best for us to have a signal in case things weren't going well. What about if we make the signal this? So if you feel like you're in trouble, you just go... <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I'm not sure about that. Uh, and then we'll be like, oh, OK. Yeah. All right, we picked a different signal. So now you're totally safe. Well, why are you dressed like that then? Oh, that's just my Tuesday suit. Anyway, <laughs> it was time to begin. I want you at, at, at a distance. You're not going to be right here. This is, this is a huge father-son moment. That's your first beard. <laughs> you can have a beard in many situations. What Andy's got here is a sit-down beard, casual beard, weekend beard, relaxed beard, sports-watching beard. Let's get back to the bee beard. So the Queen was tied around Ando's neck and then 3,000 bees were poured into his lap. This is what people that have beards experience every day. OK, he's got a ton of bees now in your lap. <laughs> yeah, if they sting you, he's got problems. Is it more comfortable than not having bees on you? I wouldn't say that. OK, he wouldn't say that, guys. What Andy's trying to say there is it's less comfortable than being devoid of bees. Back to the bees. <laughs> can see the bees starting to investigate the moustache area and uh, right now Andy would be absolutely ecstatic with joy uh, as he begins to feel those first few insect legs take hold on his face. Oh, wow. I don't know if you heard or not, but he just whispered, going great. <laughs> as you can see, we really, the bees are searching for Andy's top lip. Camera B, you getting that? The eyes. Okay. Now I've got bees on my face, so I regret <laughs> taking off my helmet. Um, yeah, I got a bee. I got a bee on my face. Oh, Andy, I had a bee on my face, but I stayed calm. <laughs> so everything's fine. <laughs> Andy, you appear to have rapidly progressed through puberty, and your beard is now over your eyes. At this stage, it's probably safest that we just leave Andy to be consumed by the bees <laughs> as their new hive, and we wish him the best, and we thank him for years of friendship. <laughs> Goodbye, old friend. You are now a hive. Luckily, Maury had a different idea, so the queen came off, and so did all the bees. Are they all off? Yeah. <laughs> There's a few stages, but um, that should be fine. It's just good as we're going to get it off? Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Give me a nice big manly squeeze, because you're a man now, you wore a beard. 